you're wanting to create designs like this using AI, but you're not sure where to start, then this video will be the ultimate guide for utilizing AI in architecture and design. Because learning one, two, and even three of these tools will drastically save you time and effort. We will start at the beginner level and work towards the end of the video where I'll be going over more advanced AI tools. Starting with number one, AI image generation. The perfect AI tool for beginners is AI image generation. You can turn your text into stunning AI images within seconds using Prome AI. This is extremely helpful in the early stages of design when you are brainstorming and trying to push the boundaries of what you can do. To produce the most effective results, make sure to adjust the scene, the perspective, the lighting before generating your images. But if you really wanna take your AI image generation to the next level, you're gonna to wanna to use this tool. Pro AI offers a sketch to render tool where you can upload draft sketches, photos, and screenshots of your model to generate realistic photo-like renders. This tool allows you to quickly try out different styles and rendering modes, transforming those messy napkin sketches into realistic renders, saving you the time of trying to 3D model and render only to realize it doesn't look good. ProMAI Image Generator also works with generic 3D models and enhances and renders those images with a text prompt. What makes the AI image generation tool so great in ProMAI is the simplicity of the user interface as well as the quality of the final outputs. And of course, this wouldn't be a full guide without me listing some of the other AI tools that offer the same image generation features. Tools like Render, Midjourney, LookX AI, Dolly 2, and Stable Diffusion. Perfect results are not always guaranteed with AI. And that is why image editing is so crucial to curating the perfect AI image. Here's how you do it in four steps using Prome AI introducing one of their newest features. First, you'll bring your image into the Erase and Replace tool, where you can paint over areas that you wanna remove, replace, retouch, or recolor. You can correct areas of the image that were rendered incorrectly or that you want to remove. This tool allows for quick touch-ups to an image, but many times the image is so close to being perfect, but some additional context needs to be included. This is where the outpainting tool comes in handy. You can expand the image based on the proportion or the dimensions. With the image resizer, you can resize images, retaining all the information of the original while eliminating the need to crop the image. You can adjust the position of the original image to control the expansion direction and avoid expanding the area too much at once. You can use the HD Upscaler tool to increase the quality of your final output image. Let's say there's some blurry areas or things that aren't clear. You can plug that in to the HD Upscaler and it'll maximize the quality of your rendering. The Erase and Replace tool, the HD Upscaler, and the Outpaint tool can transform your AI from this to this. But if you wanna have something like this as your final result, then you must use Prome AI's newest feature, the Region Rendering Tool. What you must do is upload a base image, select the area to be modified, and upload another image as a control image for detailed editing to achieve precise control of the image modification. The Region Rendering Tool gives Prome AI users the ultimate advantage and control over their AI renderings. Bonus tip, you can upload two copies of the same image at the same time, to edit the image in more detail. Now, if you're looking for the easiest AI integration into your 3D model, then you should be using Veris AI for Rhino, Revit, SketchUp, Vectorworks, and Autodesk Forma. Now, here are a few examples of images I created using Veris AI. Using the geometry override slider, you can strike the perfect balance between creative and precision. This slider allows you to tailor your design. The higher the strength on the slider, the less likely your final output is gonna look like the geometry of your input. But if you keep this slider on the lowest setting, your geometry from your input and output should be very similar. The render selection tool in Veris AI gives you full command to customize and perfect every detail of your image. In addition, the render same seed tool allows you to find an image style that you like, that you've created in Veris, copy that seed, and apply it to your future renders. And finally, Veris AI has a web version. This eliminates the need for any BIM software and is very similar to the Veris plugin that you use for Rhino, Revit, etc. The web version allows you to compose and refine AI images. Hopefully, you've learned a thing or two in the beginner level because we're just getting started. Next, I will be going over the intermediate level AI tools that allow you to do things like generate floor plans, create videos, and more. You can either choose the difficult route and create the floor plans yourself, or you can use 
these three AI tools that allow AI to assist you while creating floor plans, starting with Plan Finder. Plan Finder is a software plugin for existing CAD and BIM softwares that enables you to draw apartment floor plans faster. The plugin has two functionalities, fit and furnish. With fit, you can fit existing plans into your input and filter your preferences. With Furnish, you can furnish a plan in seconds. Plan Finder does this with machine learning technology, a technique that lets a computer learn from existing data, in this case, floor plans, to generate new ones. This enables us to suggest floor plans and furniture options within seconds, saving you time along the way. The next tool is Finch 3D, which is primarily used for apartments and office building layouts because it does a good job at accommodating various program considerations and needs. Finch is a highly effective tool for designing floor plans, integrating into BIM softwares like Rhino, Grasshopper, and Revit. Finch provides a range of customizable options and design elements, making it easier to create detailed and personalized floor plans. Additionally, Finch 3D's collaborative tools enable users to share and refine designs with others in real time, enhancing the overall efficiency of the design process. Finally is Makeit AI. Makeit is revolutionizing design with generative AI, automatically generating residential floor plans, 3D renders, and allowing you to explore limitless styles. Makeit will assist you with making confident and educated design decisions with their virtual assistant that provides expert guidance on materials, cost, and design possibilities, as well as providing help navigating the complexities of zoning code and regulations. Next up, number five, image generation. By now, anyone can create an AI image, but very few people know about or even can attempt to create a video using AI. Now, as complicated as that sounds, ProAI provides two ways to create AI videos. One way is by using the image the video tool and the other is the text the video tool. Using the image the video tool, we can create a video by providing an image, selecting a style and adding a prompt, specifying your outcome. I dropped in a rendering I made earlier and wanted to give it additional motion. This is the result. But let's say you wanted to create a video from scratch. You can do that too. Similarly to the AI image generator, you can type in a descriptive prompt and AI is able to generate a video from your text prompt. Other than being super cool, the AI video generators can be another way to visualize your ideas and turn your renderings into 3D. But tools like image creation, image editing, and video creation are just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to what ProMAI has to offer. In fact, there are even more features on ProMAI's website that you can explore. If you were anything like me when starting out, my AI images were terrible. Yes, some of it was skill, but most of it was due to using the wrong tools and software. I can rely on using ProMAI to always create quality images and produce results quickly. ProMAI is changing the industry by being on the cutting edge of AI technology, and it is up to you to stay up to date with all the new trends. I will leave a link in the description below if you wanna check out ProMAI and step up your AI design game. Come join the community of thousands who are designing the future. But did I mention, in addition to everything you've seen, ProMAI also allows you to create and train your own AI model. If you are looking for specific results or aesthetics, this would be the perfect tool for you. The success of this tool comes from the clarity of the prompts that you write, as well as your ability to select the references that you use. This feature gives you more control over your results, especially if you are trying to create an image based on your client's needs or project requirements. And if you don't know where to start, that's okay, because ProMAI's community already has a ton of examples that you can reference to ignite your creativity. But next up is another AI tool that I've used to create some pretty insane AI videos. Now, I'm not saying you can create something this cool, but if you wanna try it, then head over to Runway AI. There, you will be able to create AI videos from text and image. But there is also a really cool option to create a video with frame interpolation. Essentially, this tool allows you to blend and stitch together videos with multiple images and video frames. It can be useful when you want to turn different design options into a video animation, or if you want to try and simulate some sort of movement or 3D walkthrough of your model. Now, because it is AI, results may vary, but I think this tool can be extremely fun to mess with and try new things. So far, you've made it through the beginner and the intermediate AI tools, but the tools only get crazier from here now that you've made it to the advanced level. AI. 3D model rendering. If you're being honest with yourself, creating a realistic render can take a lot of time. Although it can be fun, you have to place assets, add materials, and frantically adjust the lighting until everything is perfect. Well, of course, now there's an AI solution to your problem. Now, I didn't say it was gonna be easy, but it will be worth it. 
And did they mention it's also free? Using Stable Diffusion AI, you can create renderings without having to spend a second in rendering software like Lumion or Enscape. Now, I won't take all the credit for finding this tool as a fellow architecture YouTuber found it first. But if you're interested, I'll leave a link for that video down in the description so you can know how to install and set up Stable Diffusion for rendering. Plus, I just think he did a really good job of explaining it, but because of some of the effort required to download and set up this tool, that is why I put it in the advanced category. Not only that, but you need a general understanding of Rhino and Grasshopper as well. But this isn't the only way to integrate AI and 3D modeling softwares like Grasshopper because I just found this crazy new hack using ChatGPT that I've integrated into my 3D modeling workflow. Parametric modeling is super cool, but at the same time, it can be incredibly difficult. There are many times where I have a certain goal or result that I want to achieve, but I have no idea which components to connect together. This is where ChatGPT comes into play. I have started creating my own components using Python and using ChatGPT to write code. I bet you didn't know ChatGPT knew how to code. But for example, if I wanted to create a brick wall pattern, I will type that into ChatGPT and it'll give me an output like this that I can copy and paste into the Python component in Grasshopper. Now here are a few key things to understand. You have to manually create the inputs and outputs in the component, but you can identify those in the script as well. This strategy requires some basic knowledge of Grasshopper coding, and most importantly, trial and error especially trying to figure out the prompt to produce what you want. Generally, one component will not create the entire brick wall, but you can start piecing together multiple Python created components to achieve your outcomes. But you just learned some pretty cool and useful AI tools that you can now share with your friends and coworkers. Most AI tools, let me rephrase that, most good AI tools, especially a lot of the ones in this video require payment or subscription. And I know that's not what you want to hear. That's just the facts. What I like about Prom AI is I can create a free account that allows me up to 10 credits to test out the tool before I commit to buying a subscription. So if you want to test out and apply all the knowledge that you learned in today's video, then I will leave the links in the description to all the softwares below. And if you want to check out additional AI design tools that you can use, check out this video next.